Good morning, and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Good morning, and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin, and I want to talk to you today about the use of the surgical motor from Shatkin First. It's manufactured for us, private labeled by Aseptico. It's a great motor. It's our workhorse. We use it every day in our office. I've got about five of them in my office. I go from room to room doing mini implants, and this machine has been a godsend for our practice. And what's great about it is Aseptico has pre-programmed the motor for, for the Shatkin First technique. The first setting at number one is called the pilot drill setting. The pilot drill is placed in the bone at 2,000 RPMs, 55 Newton centimeters with 30% water flow. Now, if you have a motor, one of these motors, and it's not pre-programmed, we can send you a little card, an SD card, that you can put in the back of it and program it for the Shatkin First technique, in case for some reason the program got lost or, or, or unprogrammed. Now, once you place your pilot hole, the next step you need to do is what we call the torque test. Start implant torque test. And the torque test measures the amount of torque, the Newton centimeter torque, that the implant is going into the bone. Now if you came to one of our Shatkin First seminars, you may recall that the minimum torque that we need to restore a mini implant the same day, to load it the same day, is 30 Newton centimeters of torque. Now this motor is set to 30 Newton centimeters of torque at 35 RPMs. So you're going to go ahead and place the implant through that pilot hole with the motor until you hear the beeping sound of 30 Newton centimeters of torque. Once you get to 30 Newton centimeters of torque, you know you've got enough torque resistance to load that implant immediately. That means you can pick up the housings or you can cement a crown or multiple crowns on multiple implants. Now, once you get to 30 Newton centimeters of torque, you go to setting number three. Now keep in mind, all of these controls can be controlled by the foot pedal. You don't need to touch this keypad to control that, but I'm touching the keypad now to show you. Now setting number three is our final implant placement setting. This setting is set to 60 Newton centimeters of torque. Now 60 Newton centimeters is at the upper range of the torque resistance we want to have. The maximum torque resistance we want is 70 Newton centimeters of torque. Beyond 70, a couple things can happen. Number one, the bone can be compressed too much and you can end up having osteonecrosis and you'll lose the implant. Number two, if you get too high, you can break the implant because the implants break around 80 Newton centimeters of torque. So 70 Newton centimeters of torque is the maximum we want. We have this set to 60 because that gives you a really good idea of where you're at. It's very rare that you get to 60 Newton centimeters of torque and you can't place the implant the whole way. If that happens, you can increase the torque by pushing the torque up button here up to 70. We do not recommend you going past 70 torque on the mini implants. If you get to 60 and the implant is only about halfway in, back the implant out, drill deeper, and sometimes even go up to a wider diameter drill, like a 1.5 drill to make it a little wider and deeper so that you can go back in and put that implant all the way in without going past 60 Newton centimeters of torque. Okay, so just to recap that, you've got your pilot hole, you've got your torque test, and you've got your final placement of the implant. Now, what happens if you don't get to 30 Newton centimeters of torque on your initial torque test? That's a great question. What do you do if you don't get to 30 Newton centimeters of torque? Well, if you have multiple implants, let's say you're doing eight to 10 implants for a roundhouse and nine out of 10 get to 30 Newton centimeters, but one of them doesn't. I'm not too worried about that because the other ones will take up the slack and you can still load that restoration with either a denture or a, a, a roundhouse temporary or whatever it is you're putting in. If you have say four implants and three out of four reach over 30 and one doesn't but it still seems solid when you tap on it with your mirror handle, you're okay to cement your final bridge on that, okay? If it's a single tooth and you don't get the 30 Newton centimeters of torque, do not put a crown on it, okay? 
two options you have. One, which I usually do, is I'll take that implant out and go to a wider diameter immediately. So if I'm doing a 2.0 or a 2.5 and I don't get the torque I want, I'll take it out, I'll go up to a 3.0 or a 3.75 right in the same hole, and 99% of the time we'll reach that 30 newton centimeters of torque with a wider diameter implant. So that's your first option. Second option is if you feel like the implant's really solid, just didn't quite get to 30, you can leave it without loading it. So how do you do that? Well, if it's a crown or bridge, put a temporary healing cap on it, leave it out of occlusion, and don't touch it for about four weeks. Okay? You can also splint it to the adjacent teeth with a temporary restoration, but keep it out of occlusion. That's another option. Okay, if it's in a denture, what do you do? Well, in a denture, what I would do is I wouldn't put the housing on. I would probably put a healing cap on it, cut the healing cap down so it's not touching the denture at all, and hollow out the denture so it just seats over without any uh, resistance and it just passively fits over that particular implant. You always want to put something on the implant to keep that soft tissue from swelling up around the neck of the implant. But if you don't reach 30 newton centimeters of torque, my first choice is take that implant out, put a bigger one in, and you'll probably get to that 30 newton centimeters of torque. I hope this Monday Morning Minute was helpful to you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Fitz. We hope everyone out there has had a wonderful, wonderful summer. We've celebrated our 20th year of Shack and First being in business. We've been celebrating all over the entire summer. We had a wonderful course down at Walt Disney World. Thank you for all who attended. Uh, but Dr. Shacken and our team at Shack and First would like to extend it right through the end of the year. So we've got a great back to school special. Anyone who's interested in buying any bendable mono dental implant, if you haven't tried the monos yet, you really have to give them a shot. These implants are absolutely phenomenal. They come in 3033, 3742,, and 50. If you buy five, we give you one free. If you buy 10, we're going to give you two free. If you buy 25, we give you five free. 50, we give you 10 free. You buy 100, we give you 20 free. Remember, mono bendable. It's a great implant if you haven't tried it. Give it a shot. And keep in mind, we have two courses coming up in Buffalo. On September 22nd and 23rd, that's a Friday and a Saturday, we're having an intro course on mini dental implants and mono dental implants here in Buffalo at the world's largest mini dental implant training facility. Hope to see everyone there in September. In October, we'll be on the road at the ADA SmileCon convention. Dr. Shacken will be giving two lectures at the main stage down at the ADA. Our booth number is 2217, so come down and say hi to us in, in Orlando. And then we're back here in Buffalo for our advanced course, and it's going to be on the 16th, 17th, and 18th of November. On the 16th and 17th, we'll be lecturing on mini dental implants and monos. We'll also be talking a little bit about problem solving on some difficult cases. And on Saturday, November 18th, you have an optional day with Dr. Samuel Shacken. He'll be training dentists on how to place Botox. You can have live patients here and work right on live patients, or you can choose to do the didactic portion. Completely up to you. We hope to see you up in Buffalo here at one of our courses or down at the SmileCon uh, ADA convention in Orlando. And we hope you have a wonderful week placing our minimally invasive implants. See you next week on the Monday Morning Minute.